Dozens of well-wishers were at Penzance station as the Queen arrived on the Royal train. Penzance Youth Wind Band, which is made up of school children from all the town schools, were there to serenade the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh before they took the short helicopter trip to the Isles of Scilly. And the fortunate islands were looking their very best for this first visit by Her Majesty in 44 years. The new Five Islands School was the first stop on St Mary's. The school will take all the island's children from preschool to age 16 and it's due to open ahead of schedule for the new term in September. I will take the first ever reception class coming into this school in September. That's looking my claim to, to fame. Yeah, well yeah very much looking forward to it, yes. And this must be the icing on the cake, is it, having the Queen here? Uh, very much so, very exciting. Uh, good for the islands, good for the children, good for the school. Inside the as yet unfinished building, the Queen and the Duke met local groups, including the first Isles of Scilly Brownies, and the school choir sang for their royal guests. The scene was awesome. <laughs> I mean, it was definitely the best we've done. But, I mean, meeting the Queen, she's so lovely, and, yeah, the, she, she stopped and watched us for the whole thing, and, yeah, so it was really nice. Just before leaving and unveiling, the stone plaque names the sports hall at the school as the Queen Elizabeth Community Hall, and then bouquets from the youngest and oldest students, four-year-old Jack Bond and 16-year-old Elizabeth Shave. Today the Royal Standard flew over St Mary's Town Hall, indicating the monarch was on the islands. The last time the Queen was here was in 1967, on board the Royal Yacht Britannia. Amongst today's crowds, islanders who remembered that last visit. On Tresco, she, uh, she was over there uh, with the Duke and also with Princess Anne and Prince Charles. And I believe that Edward and Andrew were left on the Britannia playing football with the crew. 44 years later and the Queen arrives at Holgate's Green. On display is the island's new fisheries protection vessel. It's the first time they've had one and they've named it after legendary lifeboat coxswain Matt Lethbridge, who died last year. His widow was presented to the Queen. The weather remained perfect for maypole dancing on the green with the monarch and proud mums and dads looking on. The visit ended with a jolly reception at one of the island's hotels and a heavy basket of gifts, one from each of the five islands. Very pleasant visit. Helicopter, <laughs> <laughs>